Hey, what's up fam? Welcome to another quick, awesome Elementor tutorial for beginners. Now, as you can see right now, I have a brand new installation of WordPress. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to install Elementor for the very first time. So if you've never used Elementor before and you want to quickly learn how to install it, this is how to do it. So let's go inside plugins. I'll click plugins. And as you can see, I only have the two default plugins that come with every new installation of WordPress. So I'll go ahead and say add new. And in this search area, I'll type Elementor. Awesome. It should be the first result here by Elementor.com. It has more than 5 million active installations right now. So I'll hit install. All right. So when I click activate, we'll be redirected to the Elementor setup wizard. So let's hit activate. And this is the wizard right here. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. As you can see right now, we have about five steps to set up everything before we can start using Elementor. And the first step here is to create an account with Elementor.com if you want to enjoy these benefits. But you don't have to have an Elementor account to use Elementor. So I'll go ahead and skip this part. So the second step here is to decide whether you want to use the Hello theme that's developed and maintained by the Elementor team, but you also have the option to skip this step if you have another theme that you want to use. I like using Astra. The Astra theme is one of the lightest and fastest and most SEO friendly themes in the marketplace. So I'll go ahead and skip this part. The third step here is to give your website a name and by default the name that shows up in this field is the name you gave your website when you were installing WordPress. So this is the name I gave my website. I'm not going to change it so I'll just skip. I'll just hit skip. Then if you have a logo you have an opportunity to upload it at this moment but this is something you can always do later while you build your website so we can go ahead and skip and then finally we can go directly to edit a blank canvas and start building a web page from scratch or we can browse from hundreds of templates created by Elementor that are within the Elementor workspace or import our own Elementor templates that we might have bought or created ourselves previously but I'll go ahead and skip that and by default when you hit skip it takes you directly to a blank canvas where you can start building your web page so to exit from this place click this burger menu and exit to dashboard so we're taken to the back end of the editor for that specific blank canvas we just left but what we want to do is click this to be taken to the actual dashboard where we have all the WordPress settings and now if you look on the left menu here you'll notice we have Elementor and templates both of these show up after installing Elementor and if we click Elementor we can play around with all the settings here but usually you won't need to make any changes to the default settings of the plugin you will just go directly to start building your web pages but of course feel free to check out what all these other settings are for if you open up templates here this is where you'll find a list of all Elementor templates you might have uploaded or built. If you want to build a new template that you can keep reusing in your project, you can add new. Or if you want to import a template that you had downloaded, you can import it from here. But I'll be publishing a tutorial on how to create and use pre-made templates in your Elementor projects. That should be going live anytime from now. So. Probably by the time you're watching this video, I've already published that video on how to create and use Elementor templates. 
And of course, as mentioned, this is the ultimate elemental tutorial series for complete beginners. It's a playlist of shorts, tips and tricks on how to use the different elements that Elementor has to offer and basically how to improve your Elementor skill. So be sure to check out the rest of the playlist and see if there are tips and tricks that you might benefit from and I promise you will find one or two. And of course, if you want to learn how to build a fully working web page, landing page or a fully working website from scratch using Elementor, I have several classes on Skillshare that you can enroll in for free right now. I'll leave a link in the description below. Be sure to check out my profile on Skillshare and learn how to use Elementor in a step-by-step -step manner to build a fully working landing page or website. As always, my name is Ken and it's always a pleasure to share these tips and tricks with you every single week. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.